So hi everyone, this is Paolo again from Just Another Dang Blog. Um, this is my first Salesforce tutorial and on this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to set up Salesforce communities. So but before I do that, a quick intro on what Salesforce community is. is. So it's a way for you to connect to your customers, partners, or employees. Uh, you could have a community for self-service, you could have it uh, used by your salespeople, by your partner, or your resellers, or it could just be a knowledge base, it could be internal or public. So those are some use cases for Salesforce communities. So before we get started, uh, you should have like a checklist on how to do this. So check you have the licenses that you need, check with your Salesforce account executive for that. Um, have a domain ready for what you want for your community and uh, the others you could do later like the branding, the logo and everything but to quickly set it up those are what you need so let's get started so first thing to do is go to setup I'm going to check that I have the licenses that I need so if I go to let me close that if I go to Company information, this is where you want to go. Since I'm just using a developer account, uh, developer edition account, um, I have limited licenses, but they are there. So I have community, customer community login and I have customer community plus. On this tutorial, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you how to use the community, customer community plus. So I have the licenses that I need, so all good there. Next step is to clone the profile. So go under Manage Users, click on Profiles, and clone the Customer Community Plus user. So I'm just going to quick look clone that, and I'm going to call this dang Community Plus, and hit Save. And next thing I want to do is enable communities. So if I go to all communities, uh, not not just communities, you need to enable it first. So community settings, click enable, and then specify a domain. So for this domain, I'm gonna say dang community. I'm gonna check availability. It's available. I click on save. Once you enable the community, it cannot be disabled. So that's this warning. Click OK. And communities is now enabled. So now we could start building community. You could build up to 100 communities if you like. So for this one, we could start on a new community. Time now, so that's it. So it launched the lightning bolt uh, wizard, and now it's called lightning bolt. But this is the wizard for selecting a template. So there's several templates to choose from. You have customer service or code name Napoli. You have Salesforce tabs plus Visual Force. You have Koa and you have Kakoa and Aloha. If you notice, there's a padlock on this template. That's because you require to enable knowledge first, and then you would be able to use this template. So, but for this one, I'm going to select customer service Napoli. I'm going to click get started. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Tang. And optional URL, I'll just give it Tang as well. Great. So behind the scenes, they start creating all the pages, all the email templates that you need. And not long now, and there you go. So 
Once this is done, it would redirect me to the community workspaces. Depending on the community you community, temp, community template you selected, you'll have a different view from mine. So there I have if I go to quickly go to administration. You can see that the status is on preview, it's not yet activated. So next step is go to the members and assign the profile we just created earlier. So if I go to portal and I select Dang Community Plus and hit save. That should give any profile users that permission to access this community so let's jump into the builder and I'm going to quickly publish it and jump into a contact and uh, provision that user as a community user and then log in with this account so anytime now. Anytime now. All right, finally, so page is loaded. This is the editor or a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. I'm not going to do anything special for now. Keep it as vanilla as, vanilla as possible. I'm just going to click on publish. Uh, get this confirmation. I say publish. And say got and I'll um, jump back to the setup. So that's all you need to do at this point there. So if you go to a contact, um, let's see, I'm looking for Jack Rogers. Mm. Yep, and there's Ro Rogers, Jack, and I'm just going to quickly edit this email address. Click on save. Since we enabled communities, you would see that there's a new button here when you view a contact. It says manage external user, and when you click on the drop down, Depending on what license you have, it could say enable partner user, but since we use customer community, so it says enable customer. So I click on that. This would jump in provisioning a new user. I'm going to select the license, commu customer community plus, and I'm going to select the custom profile that I created. And I'll just quickly change this. DJ Rogers at Community Cloud One. I'm gonna put one right there. Rogers. And scroll down below. I'll uncheck the generic password there. I don't want that at the moment, so click save. And I'll jump into that contact. And when I click on this option now, I have the option disable customer com, uh, customer user and log in to community as user. So I'm going to use this, and this should show me what this user would see when he logs into this community.
that's it. So this is how it would look like to that ex to that uh, user when he logs on. So let's do a quick cleanup. So I want to have the global header displayed so I could quickly jump from internal view to the community view. To do that, go to setup. Go under manage users. Create a permission set. I'll give it a uh, click on new. I'll give it a label of view headers. And select the license Salesforce and hit save. Go under system permission. Click on edit. And scroll down at the very bottom. There's an option. View global headers. So click that and hit save. Click on Manage Assignment. Uh, let me do that again. Click on Manage Assignment. Yep, cool. And click Add Assignments. Select the System Administrator. View. Click Assign. Click Done. At this point, you have this bar, and if you click on, if, if I go to Dang Preview, it won't um, load that for me, it won't load the community, because I need to add it on the community. So I go to All Communities, click on Workspaces. Click on Administration, click on Members, finally assign that permission set to this community, and click on Save, and I jump back into that other tab, and I go to Dang Preview, I'll be able to switch to that community. So that's it. That's the quick tutorial on how to set up community. The rest you could uh, eventually tweak and add later, but that's the basic. Just get it out there and start tinkering. Hope you like this video and more videos coming soon. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.